Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Chaudhary Mahmood Anwar. Today I'm going to guide you how to calculate conditional or unconditional expectation or also called conditional or unconditional mean. It's very important to understand the conditional or unconditional expectation if you want to understand regression analysis in depth. We know that in regression analysis, we are interested to estimate population mean by using the fixed values of independent variables. So it's very important to understand that what is conditional expectation or conditional mean or unconditional expectation or unconditional mean and what type of uh, expectation or mean is used in regression analysis. I know that most often the students of statistics and econometrics find it very difficult to assimilate. But I'll illustrate this conditional and unconditional expectation with the help of very easy to understand example. So first look at this table. This table shows in the weekly family income which is in dollars and weekly family consumption expenditure in dollars. So the expenditures is uh, Y and income is X variable. It means that consumption expenditure is dependent on the income of family. Let's see there are 10 income groups. Income group one has $80 income, income group 2 has $100 income, and so on. Overall, there are 60 families whose income has been listed in this table. There are 5 families who have an income of $80 and their consumption expenditures are also listed here. And the second income group is $100 per week and their consumption expenditures have been listed here. Now our ultimate objective in regression analysis is to estimate the conditional mean or conditional expectation. So how we will calculate this? So the first step is to add up all the consumption expenditures under the fixed value of X, mean family income. Here, for instance, I'll calculate 55, 60, 65, 70, and 75. 55, plus 60, plus 65, plus 70, plus 75. This gives us 325. So 325 dollar, so 325 dollars is the sum of all the consumption expenditures of these five families lie under the $80 income group. And similarly, you can uh, calculate the sum of these all families, these all income family groups. Now, in the second step, you will calculate the conditional mean of Y, mean conditional expectation function of Y. So what you will do for income group one, you have calculated that total consumption expenditure is 325 and you will divide it with the number of uh, families 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you simply divide this by 5 and you will get 65. So the conditional mean of Y is 65 here. Similarly, you can calculate the conditional mean 
for all the family income groups. For instance, let me calculate one other conditional mean for the group having a family income of $100. Simply, you will add up all the consumption expenditures So you get this 462 and number of families under this income group are Six. So you simply divide it by six. So you have got seventy-seven dollars. That is conditional mean of y. Now you have calculated the conditional mean of y. So in regression analysis, we estimate the population mean on the basis of fixed values of independent variable or variables. So this conditional mean is very important in regression analysis. Now I'll tell you how we will calculate the unconditional mean of y. So to calculate the unconditional mean of y, what you will do, you will sum up all these consumption expenditures so all these consumption expenditures are equal to $7,272 and there are total 60 families included in this table. So what you will do, you will simply divide 7272 divided by 60 and you will get $121.2. So this $121.20 is the unconditional expected value of y. But this unconditional expected value is a simple mean. Simple mean of all the consumption expenditures. But this unconditional expected mean is not used in regression analysis. In regression analysis, we will determine the mean value of population on the basis of fixed values of x. Here you can see that all the values of x are fixed. So this is how you will estimate the conditional mean and unconditional mean of y. Thank you very much for watching this video.